Hi there, my name is Kai and I am going to be telling you about the human body's incredible barriers against infections, the blood-brain barrier and the placental barrier. Let's start with the blood-brain barrier, or as I like to call it, triple B. Triple B is a part of the central nervous system and its job is to protect the brain and the spinal cord. Essentially, the system of capillaries that are part of triple B are less permeable than other capillaries in the body, meaning they allow certain things like oxygen and carbon dioxide to pass in and out, yet restrict others like drugs and certain pathogens. As much as triple B does for us, it unfortunately cannot keep out certain pathogens like meningococcal meningitis and the herpes simplex virus. It's okay though, scientists have succeeded in preventing pathogens like polio from invading our brains with the creation of the polio vaccine, which eradicated the disease in the United States. Let's move on to the placental barrier, which is the complex of tissue that provides nutrients to the growing fetus and provides protection against pathogens and the mother's immune system. The placenta contains mechanisms that prevent the mother's immune system from recognizing the fetuses as foreign. It does this by providing a barrier between maternal and fetal blood flows. As for pathogens, the placental barrier has few intracellular bridges, also known as cell junctions, which prevent diseases such as the herpes simplex virus from infecting the baby. Other pathogens, such as Listeria monocytogenes, can't infect the fetus because the placenta acts as a physical barrier rather than an immunological one. Although the placental barrier does a lot to protect the fetus, certain pathogens can still slip by. HIV and Zika are some of the more well-known viruses that can slip past the placental barrier. Zika itself poses an unprecedented threat as researchers have found that it can reach the fetus by infecting placental cells at every trimester. Taking steps to ensure that women and child are protected from Zika infections in regions where the virus is prevalent is a way to prevent future infections. Additionally, making sure that expectant mothers take their prenatal vitamins is important to ensure that the baby can grow happy and healthy surrounded by its knight in shining armor, the placenta.